Hi, my name is Philip First. I'm with the Global Public Sector team of Capgemini, where I support the practice on data and artificial intelligence. Hi, my name is Marie Jansen. I'm an offer lead for business technology solutions in Germany, and in my work, I focus on open data. Summary. Let's talk about the high-value data sets. What are they and why are they important for the public sector? So public sector organizations collect and have a vast amount of data, right? But they don't always make them publicly available. But in the beginning of the year, the European Commission decided on a list of so-called high-value data sets that have a greater societal impact. And these data within the list contain domains like society, statistics, mobility, infrastructure, geospatial data and so forth. And if we make that data available throughout the European Union, we have impacts on society, on infrastructure, can yeah, take on challenges of our modern society. And um, we believe that this is a really great task and we expect a lot of great innovation to be um, in the future. Okay, and what does publicly available exactly mean in this context? It means that the data can be reused by everyone, that it's openly accessible to everyone, that it's in a machine-readable form. So in this way we can analyze the data, bring it together and have that impact and value that we want to see within the European Union. Okay, but that does not sound like an easy task. No, it's a big challenge for public sector organizations. They first have to identify the data, make it accessible to everyone, some data even in real time, so it's a big challenge. And they have to do it by the end of June 2024, so a lot to do, yes. Great. Could you go into some more details on that innovation potential? Yeah, sure. So if we make certain data publicly available for reuse, we can foster entrepreneurship, for example, work on climate change and work on mobility issues. So making the data publicly available has a really great impact on society and economy. For example, take forest fires. If we connect satellite data, weather data and make it publicly available throughout the European Union, we can share the data, connect the dots and maybe work on our crisis management. So making that data publicly available throughout the European Union has a really great impact on society, economy and so forth. So that sounds like high value data sets really hold a lot of potential for innovation. Yes, if we make the data publicly available throughout the European Union, more people have access to that data. And I expect people to come up with really great ideas on that data, analyzing the data and innovation. And maybe it also inspires more people, more organizations to share their data within the European Union, but also maybe outside of it. So the deadline for making high-value datasets publicly available is June 2024. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for public organizations now? So the policy on high-value datasets is quite specific. It has to be made available via mass downloads in a machine-readable format. So there are a lot of regulations that member states um, should follow as well as the taxonomy of the data. So if member states want to comply with the deadline, they really should follow the regulation and make the data available in that form. Okay, and what do you suggest public sector organizations do in order to comply with the regulation in the future? They first need to have a look at their data, identify the data, look at the data quality and make a plan on how to publish the data. One asset is for example the Open Data Maturity Report. They make suggestions on how to make a plan on making the high value data sets available. For example, tagging the data with high value data sets so in that um, form we can have a look at the data throughout the European Union and make it more uh, findable for everyone and take the impact that we expect. Okay, great. Thank you so much Marie for taking the time to talk to us about this today and uh, till next time. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome.